This is a day in the life of a Japanese train conductor. This is Takaya, 23 years old, living just east of Tokyo in Chiba's small tranquil town of Choshi, and he's just waking up for work. Nice, he's making ochazuke for breakfast, a very typical and quick Japanese meal. He's originally from Ibaraki Prefecture, but moved here in this 1DK apartment to secure his current job. He majored in railroad travel at a specialized university, but after graduation had to work at a security company for a few years. But he never gave up on his dream to work at a railroad company. Oh, he wears glasses! Apparently more than half of Japan's population wears them. so he commutes to work by car, which only takes about 10 minutes as he decided to live close to his workplace. Good morning everyone, I'm back with another day in the life. This one I've wanted to film for quite some time now and I know that many of you have also been requesting this one so I'm super excited. Luckily, Takia should be coming soon. Good morning. Hello. How did you sleep last night? Hi, Jujuni,寝て、六時に起きました。今日は朝は書類書いたりをして、お昼には車掌として電車に乗って仕事していきます。Takaya works as a train conductor at Choshi Dentetsu, aka Choshi Electric Railway, transporting passengers for 100 years now from Choshi to Tokawa Station, a 10-station, 6.4-kilometer, 4-mile stretch, located on the easternmost tip of Chiba, right on the ocean side. The headquarters are here at Nakano Cho Station, where a total of 20 full-time workers proudly and safely keep the train line running each and every day. After changing into his uniform, he's required to perform a breathalyzer to ensure he hasn't been drinking, standard in Japan for this type of job. And after this, performs a handover with a night shift worker called Hikitsugi. Oh wow, they're synchronizing their watches! I suppose as a Japanese train conductor, he must always be precise with the time. Now his shift has officially started. His first task is to close out the cash register from the previous evening. How are the sales? Dope. Now he's ordering lunch for the other staff as this is part of the morning shift's responsibility. What was that? Kasagami-kuro-heiki-ko-demashita-yo-tiyu-denwa-ga-ima-kakatte-kimashite-kondo-nakano-chou-ni-tsuita-ra-denshya-ga-kotsema-de-tsukimashita-tiyu-denwa
so the train line block system is still widely used in Japan. Various approaches exist for implementing this system, including digital ones, but Takaya's train line uses a more traditional approach of passing a physical plate to the driver, indicating that their specific train is permitted to enter the train line zone. What's that? You have to use a ruler? <laughs> okay, so this ticket is called the Tsuken, which is used when more than one train needs to be permitted into the block system zone. Apparently, the train using this ticket has been retired for the day. Nice, he's taking care of the passengers buying tickets. Like many older train stations in Japan, this station doesn't have an automatic ticketing machine, so all the tickets must be purchased in person at the register. And what's the most difficult part of doing this job? Japan has an extremely high standard for train schedule punctuality. Even a mere minute of delay is deemed tardy and unacceptable, so much so that operators will make an official apology announcement to their passengers if it happens. So, what's your shift like? So, what do you like most about this job? Takaya's love for trains is deeply rooted to his childhood, a time when his father would frequently take him on long train ride adventures, and even today says that he vividly remembers the joy he experienced at times he wore a train conductor's hat. So it looks like Takia is going to be doing some desk work for just a little bit. So while he's doing that, let's go train around for a little bit. Hmm, I guess this right here is the break room. Huh. We got their sink, got a table. Those are some omayage souvenir snacks right there. Oh wow, look. There's a shower here too. Okay, so let's quickly go down over here. Hi! Can I ask what you do? Cool, how did you become a driver? Oh, and how long have you been driving? Oh, was the exam hard? So, did you think you were gonna drive a train as a kid? Thanks. This is actually the ticketing booth right here. You can buy your tickets. So like many train stations outside of the metropolitan areas, there is no actual gate. So people can just walk through. So all of it is on the honor system. And look, they even give out free tissue here. And just right here is a big part of Japanese train culture where each station has their own individual stamp that people collect. Takaya, what's this? <laughs> Apparently, Choshi Dentetsu was fighting a financial crisis in the 1990s due to the declining ridership and tourism and was facing bankruptcy. The railway company, as a last resort, turned to selling Nure Senbei, rice crackers online, asking their riders and community for help. And like a miracle, all the people who loved the train and had fond memories of riding it growing up helped cover the debt by buying the crackers, ultimately allowing the company to stay in business. Hey, people can come inside here? Which one is your favorite? Now, he guides the train to their proper positions using the railroad switch, as it's one of his responsibilities. Apparently, the railway utilizes two trains in the early morning, but for the rest of the day, only uses one train, while the other is retired to the rail yard. Since it's not a frequent occurrence, Takia says that he often has Tetsudo Otaku, train fans, taking pictures while he does it. What are you doing now? Now he has to perform in Shasho, his conductor task aboard the train.
First, he changes out the collection box in the onboard ticketing machine used by passengers when no train conductors are present, and then services the passengers coming from the unmanned stations by selling them tickets. Uniquely, out of the 9,465 train stations in Japan, 4,564 of them are unmanned, often hard to believe for those accustomed to riding the trains in Japan's metropolitan cities. Although these days the unmanned stations usually have cameras installed, it's still rare in Japan for riders to take advantage of this honor system. <laughs> Kaya does admit that talking to passengers was initially a challenge for him since he's not an outspoken person and he's had to make extra effort to step outside his comfort zone to get accustomed to the interactions but now finds it enjoyable to make light conversation with all aboard. Takaya says that while he could have probably worked in Tokyo's fast-paced railway system, his current company better suits his character with its unhurried and friendly atmosphere, preferring to assist passengers surrounded by the scent of nature. So I just got off the train. Takya is actually still on. He's gonna do another round. So while he's doing that, let's go track around. Ah, okay. Let's see what this guy's doing. Hello. What are you doing? What tickets are those? Well, don't lose them. Excuse me. Hi, do you also work here? I'm a manager. Oh, really? He's been president of the railway for about 10 years now, and he actually drives a train as well. How did you become the president? Interesting. What do you like most about the trains? So at its fastest, it runs at 40 kilometers per hour, but on average 20, 12 miles per hour, which is slower than a bicycle, but faster than walking. Cool, thanks. Were there many passengers today? Oh. Yay, lunch time. His break is two hours long, so he uses this time to cook his lunch, which is also one of his hobbies. I guess he's making a potato gratin style dish and usually cooks extra to share with his coworkers. After eating, he still has quite a bit of extra time, so he usually makes coffee and chats with his coworkers to relax. Now that he's back from his break, he starts working on his evening tasks, which is for the most part the same thing he was doing earlier today. What are you doing now? He says that closing out the cash register usually takes about 15 minutes, but when he's busy with attending to passengers and other tasks, it takes double the time. I guess today though, it's not so busy. Oh no, did you lose a coin or something? Oh, that's good to hear. Oh, he's helping out a customer over the phone. Apparently, the station often receives calls, and it's his responsibility to answer any questions and provide advice as required. Nowadays, though, most customers search the internet for answers, but some still prefer talking to someone over the phone, so he's happy to assist them. And all this in a day's work. So it looks like Takaya is going to be doing the same task until 10 o'clock tonight, after which he's probably going to go home, go to sleep because it's been a long, long day. But that's pretty much a day in the life of a Japanese train conductor. If you guys like this video, like always, help me out and hit that like button. And if you guys want to see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.